Welcome back, guys. Uh, there. I'll put myself in the sun for a second this morning. Um, I am out in the middle of a lake trying to find some fun fish. Um, the water temps right now, I believe we're like 72. Uh, this whole spring's been really weird. Um, well, and then obviously it's summer now, but it's kind of getting, uh, it's been like up and down, up and down. And uh, yeah, I haven't been really able to put like too good of a pattern uh, together. But I'm gonna basically cruise around some weed lines first, first thing this morning and try to get some active fish. Uh, this lake has a bunch of different species in it. So I'm just gonna slip bobber, see what I can find. So keep your fingers crossed for me. Next thing you see is catch some fish. You guys know me. Gotta start with a slip bobber and a red worm. Try to find some active fish. Of course I wasn't recording, but I just caught a giant gill. He ate a whole red worm. It's like a nine. It's getting windy. Hopefully we can get a couple more good fish before it gets too windy. Fish on. Well, this one feels bigger. Did I land on the big gills again? Yep. Another giant gill. This guy's a little bleached out, but at least that one I caught on film. Kind of surprised me. Big old ear tabs on these guys. I'm not keeping any of these. I never keep big gills. Another one of those days, it wasn't supposed to be windy and it became windy. <laughs> I just love how wrong the forecast is all the time. It's supposed to be dead calm right now. Fish on. Giant perch. <laughs> ah. Actually broke me off. Now that I'll keep. Fish. What are you? Not a bluegill. Oh, another giant bluegill. <laughs> Big ten inch female. Just lucky I don't keep those ones. Fish off the bottom. I don't. That feels good. Oh, he got off. Okay. I was stuck up on the bottom there, so I jigged it. Something came up and smacked it. What are you? Oh. Definitely a bluegill. Oh. Very tempting to keep some of you. Something down there. 
Ooh. That was a good gill. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to measure one of these guys. Cause that looks like a nine to me. Yep. It's a nine. <laughs> if she was a little shorter, I'd keep her. And if she didn't have that sore. Since I have one perch in the box, I think I'm gonna try and get myself a couple of those big gills that are um, like eight and a half or under nine. I get a fish fry going. Fish. Big fish. Different kind of eater fish. Apparently there's some walleye on this weed edge. I know that's not big enough, but if there's a bigger one, it would be nice. Bunch of these guys down there. Not paying attention again. This one feels okay. That's a good one. I think that's a male though. It's really hard to tell once they bleach out, but I, I mean, what do you think? Male or female? Usually that bottom tells me it's a female, but that big ear tab says it's a male. So, big ear tab, go free. Okay, didn't get the hook set recorded there, but, oh, I got this one on film. You guys missed it. I, I just had one that was about the same size as this guy, but he was twice as thick. Like, imagine like that thick. It was crazy. Awesome genetics. <sighs> Bye, buddy. Uh, and for anybody wondering why I'm just tossing these guys back like I have been, um, I would do the cinematic release and all that stuff, but by the time I get a position, camera ready, all the fun stuff, I would be blowing halfway across the lake, so. Yeah, there's that. Big hook set from a half a mile away. <laughs> there's a good eater. See if that's like seven, eight inches here. Yeah, seven and a half. Perfect eater. Yeah, she could be a little thicker. Big that guy up. Feels good. That's why. Bigger walleye. All right, I'm gonna have to check the length on this guy. Broke me off again. So I only have four pound tests, so it's not a surprise when these guys shake their heads hard enough, they break me off. Let's see. He's an eater. Unfortunately for you, you're going home with me. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me. It's pretty freaking windy out. Um, this is a little midday update for you guys. Uh, I have one walleye and one jumbo perch in the, wall, in the live well right now. That's enough for me for dinner. Um, but if I get a couple eater gills or if I get some more perch or 
more walleye. I'll definitely keep a couple. I'm gonna definitely have a good fish dinner. Uh, comment below if you guys want to see me do some of my like my at home cooking stuff, like how I cook my fish dinners. I don't always fry my fish, so it's a little bit different. But hopefully, next thing you see is me catching some more of those good fish. I'd actually like to get like five of those walleye, so well, there's one. feels bigger. That is not a bluegill. <clears throat> Ooh. Good walleye. Had to keep it in the net and under wraps. People didn't see it. Just fishing the weed edge. Another keeper. <clears throat> see how big this one is. 17 and a half. Take it. Let's see if we can get another one. That's two walleye, one jumbo perch. So there's a weed line just off of this point that I found, um, and I'm just fishing on the outside of it. They seem to be stacked up um, with some small bluegills. I don't know if they're eating the bluegills or if they're just hanging out with them, but uh, they're definitely here. another bluegill another big one come here another giant male that one's easy to tell Still fun. That feels good. Don't know what that is, but it feels good. It's a gill. It's a female. See if she's shorter than nine. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. Yep, just shorter than nine. That's an eater. That's definitely a female. You can tell by the wedge shape, and the corn cob belly. That's two walleye, one jumbo perch. One jumbo bluegill. I'm gonna try to get a couple more of those bluegills and then I'll probably call it a day. I don't need that much fish. Got him. That's another walleye. Just a really big bluegill. Oh, it's another walleye. Not big enough, but I'm on the right spot. Right fish, wrong size. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> it's a smallmouth. <laughs> I was not expecting this guy at all. 
Come here. <laughs> Little baby smallmouth. These guys are so cool. This one looks really awesome. <laughs> he went like six feet in the air. All go. It's floated over a school. There's a better one. Come here. Oh. Although, unfortunately, I think that's a male. Sorry, bud. Looking for the females. And. Like another good gill. Mm. Not quite there. Getting close. Okay, so I was just driving around looking for fish. Made a random cast in front of me to a weed line, and uh, yeah, got another eater female. I mean, it's a big eater, but this is what good genetics look like. So I can tell you guys right now, that's probably like at a eight and a half, maybe just under nine. And she's a female. Very easy to tell. Small tab. Corn, corn underneath. She's going to go good on a sandwich. Fish on! Just had to find another weed patch. Well, this one feels big. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna have on here because just kind of cruising around. Oh! One of you guys. If I didn't have so many good fish to eat, I would definitely try to eat one of you. Ah, the croaker. Okay, now go turn into a giant bluegill. <laughs> oh, horrible hook set. Started watching the bobber go down, spacing out. Wasn't sure what was going on there. <laughs> I'm glad I set the hook. I think this guy pinned it to the bottom. A giant gill. Big old male. Hopefully you guys can hear me with the wind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy pinned it right to the bottom. Oh. That's a giant bluegill. I missed the hook set again. Sorry guys. <laughs> I was about to change my battery and then I looked up and my bobber was taken off. Pretty sure that's another male. Going back. And again. So this time I thought I turned it on and it just wasn't on. Oh my God, what's going on here? 
This is a big bluegill too. Midsummer monsters. <laughs> Look at that fish. Nine and a half. Just huge. Definitely over a pound. <clears throat> Sorry I missed the hook set, but this thing was on it real fast. <laughs> Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, yeah, so I'm just cruising up and down this weed line. I, I don't really have a, a spot per se. These guys are just coming off the weeds and smoking this red worm before I even have a chance to, uh, before I have a chance to turn the camera on for you guys. So I'm just gonna leave it on, hook my red worm. So I've been, uh, just single hooking them kind of like a leech would be and then pulling up next to the weed line and fish on Let's see if there's a bunch of them over here okay so this is the edge of the weed line it should be <clears throat> should be right in that area anyways wasn't being very specific it just seemed like the fish were just stacked up on the edge of it Got another one. Feels even bigger. Oh, I get the walleye. Yep. Is it big enough to keep? Oh, only 14. Okay. See what else is in here. Is that a bite? Uh, <laughs> I thought I was hung up on a weed for a second there. Oh, that was another walleye. <laughs> uh, yeah, so poor hook set because I was not expecting to get a bite. I was midway talking through you guys. Uh, all right, let's try to do this right. Another fish on. This one feels more like a bluegill. <laughs> so there's apparently there's walleye and bluegill stacked up on this weed line. Yeah, this is a big bluegill. Just another meaty male. Not quite as big, but still decent. Got him that time. Oh, that's something bigger. <laughs> this guy was down there just nipping at my thing. Couldn't get him to commit, so I kept jigging it on him. I think it's a bigger walleye. That'd be nice. Oh, you guys. Croaking. <laughs> Go become a walleye. <laughs> Not exactly sure what this one is. Oh, it's a walleye. I found a school of these guys. They're all about 14 inches though, I think. This one seems a little bit better. Ah. Yeah, it's right there. Go figure, this, the stupid thing that I did, amateur, is uh, <laughs> I 
thought my GoPro battery had died, so I switched it out and turned it on, and the camera turned off, and I couldn't figure out what was going on, and then it was, uh, I, I checked, 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 and then finally I looked at it, and my SD card was full, so you guys are going to probably end it on one of those last walleyes, uh, because I didn't bring my other stuff with me, and uh, yeah, thumbs up for Weed Edge walleyes. Uh, a big thing that I like to do in the summertime is some lakes have two sets of walleyes. One is down deep, one will be right on a weed edge. All you got to do is, I just took the wind today, used it to drift right along that weed edge, and pitch my slip bobber and uh, a nose hooked red worm right up against it. Leeches work really good this time of year too, so if you guys get a chance to get your hands on some leeches, do that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's little uh, weed edge walleye video. Hopefully you get out and do it yourself. See you guys next time.